Hello, my name is Ernest Schwaim, and today we are here to talk about in-ear monitoring configurations. I'm here today with the rock band Coveralls out of Chicago, Illinois. Coveralls rehearses at the Music Zone Rehearsal Facility in Pilsen, Chicago. Let's take a look at their in-ear monitoring rig. As you can see, the monitoring rig stands about 24 inches high, 24 inches wide, and 24 inches deep. A veritable cube of sound. The flight case features smart red handles for access and visibility. The brains of this configuration is the Behringer XR18 digital mixing console. There are 16 discrete audio inputs at XLR balanced line input featuring phantom power. There are also two TRS line inputs, six discrete audio mix bus of XLR, and then a master two mix, balanced XLR outputs of left right. Also included is a headphones amplifier, the PM16 alternate interfacing of RJ45, USB interfacing for both monitoring and recording, as well as Ethernet to provide to a router or hotspot for remote mixing. Also included in the coveralls rig is the Behringer PowerPlay headphones amplifier, featuring six channels of discrete headphones amplification, all with their own discrete auxiliary inputs that can be mixed between those inputs and the master two mix. Above we see Sennheiser wireless systems. Three units here, as well as an RF distributor, allow for three discrete mixes outputting to three RF receivers. Those mixes are all distributed via this single antenna. Thank you, distributor. On the back, we can find some interfacing. Here we see some additional components, rechargeable batteries, a Wi-Fi hotspot drawer, and interfacing. These patch bays include headphones outputs for six discrete XLR outs to headphones, as well as a two mix at XLR, headphones amp, 50 ohm BNC output for antenna, USB-C output for mixing as well as recording, and an RJ45 connection for the P16M. The P16M is a proprietary mixing desk used for individual mixer. The drummer uses this to mix up to 16 discrete signals for their own use. These XLR outputs are coming from the Behringer PowerPlay P16 headphones amp and distribute signal at headphones output for use with these Behringer PM1 units. There is also a distribution snake. The split snake provides up to 24 channels of XLR input and output. When arriving at a venue, the band may simply plug in to their patch bay per channel and give to the front of house an accompanying split snake. These signals are simply untouched by the band's in-ear monitoring rig, so front of house may rest assured that their mix is not at all affected by the band's components. Upon arrival, the band will simply plug in Give the front of house this simple snake and play, receiving their same inputs that they rehearse with. This has been an investigation of in-ear monitoring. Thank you.